What's going on, everybody? This is DJ from the Hunt Family Farm. Hope that everybody, first I want to wish you a happy holidays. I hope that everyone had a great holiday. No I did. Um, and so I want to wish everyone a happy holiday uh, from the Hunt Family Farm. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go and do so right now. And also click that bell for that post notification so you can get an alert every time that we do upload. Obviously, we're not at the farm today. Um, this is more of a more intimate video, uh, kind of just talking about some of the struggles that we've had. I know a lot of the times, even whether it's in business or you know your business is different from mine, obviously, or if you're in farming and you're trying to get started, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's, it's tough, right? It's tough on your end, like it's tough on our end. So in this video, I kind of want to tell you the story of myself and my sister getting into the sheep farming business and kind of some of the things that we wish you would have learned prior to jumping into this business venture, right? In this business venture, my sister and myself, when we kind of started talking about it, so we talked about, you know, getting into sheep. And on my family farm, we've done cows, we've done pigs, we've done all kind of uh, vegetables, tobacco, different things. But obviously with this sheep thing, it was something new. This was something new that we were kind of stepping in. So we did our research, which that's kind of how it starts always. Any business venture, you know, you're going to always start with research. So my sister and myself, we did this research. We decided, hey, we want to do sheep. My sister and I, we both enjoy lamb chops. And I know that there's a large percentage of people that enjoy lamb chops. So that was one of the things that kind of piqued our interest to get into uh, this business venture. In any business venture, my advice to you is to, like I said, do your research prior, prior to. Uh, we looked at different breeds of sheep. We decided to settle on Dorper sheep. Um, and so we were looking online, we were researching, trying to find people that were breeders. Uh, and I found, I actually found a farmer who was interested in kind of getting out of the business. Uh, and so he was like, you know what, I'll sell you the majority of my flock. So, you know, I drove out to the farm, checked the sheep out, asked questions, did all the things that you would do um, before purchasing anything to jump into it. And he was saying, you know, they're easy animals to deal with, everything is great, you know. Most of these females, which are called ewes, uh, fun fact, um, a female sheep is a ewe, a male is a ram. Like he was like, most of these uh, ewes have been exposed to males, so, you know, when you, when you take, when you, if you purchase these, you know, they'll lamb in a couple of months and you'll probably get all your money back in the first go around, right? So of course, any person that's interested in going into business is gonna say, wow, that's a great deal, right? I can pay the money now and I can see my return in a couple of months. Little did I know that uh, the road is a little tougher than, you know, than imagined. So my sister and I, we go out, we make this investment, we purchase these sheep. I think we purchased about 10 ewes. Um, which a couple of them were were heavily pregnant, like they were getting close to, to lambing. And so obviously our first time jumping into it, we don't know anything, right? So, you know, he told me the first you, oh, she's probably gonna be doing about three weeks. I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I got time, you know, to prepare a space and get my ducks in order and all of those things. And, you know, we bring them to the farm and, you know, our fencing is right. and. You know, we're looking around, we're like, okay, we got 10 ewes, they usually twin. We are literally counting our chickens before they hatch. Literally, we're doing that, right? We, in our mind, we're gonna be the most successful sheep farmers. There are, you know what, we got 10 today, we're gonna move them to this pasture because we're not gonna have enough space for them. Like, we're gonna, we're gonna sell these sheep, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that. We are counting dollars. Little did we know what was in store. So the first lamb that, the first the first you that lamb, she had her lamb and it died. She had her lamb about a week after I had her. Thought I had three weeks, she popped it out in one week and she died. So at the time, you know, I, my sister and I, we go out, oh, it's okay, you know, you're gonna take losses, right? There's losses in business, you know, you hear all those things, right? Then about a week later, she dies. So I'm like, okay, it's all right. You know, we're down to nine, we're good. We're fine, right? And then, 
you know, about a week later, another one just drops dead. So I'm like, okay. Now we're down to eight. All right, cool. You know, hey, eight's not a bad number. We're going we gonna, we gonna to still make it through. The guy called and says, hey, I got two more used for you. If you want to purchase them, I'll give them to you for a good price. Great. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna invest more money into it, right? We're going to buy these two other used, and we're going we're gonna to be great. So we buy those two used, and they come in, and they're like, yeah, man, all right. We back up to 10. We still, everything's a go. All, everything's all like we have we planned it, right? We're going to have these 20 plus uh, sheep. We're going to make this money. And then another one dies. Okay. And then another one dies. And then another one dies. And at this point, I'm asking myself, what is going on? And so, you know, during this time, we're doing all this research. Why are these sheep healthy today and they're dying no more? It's like such a learning experience. I'm like, what in the world is going on? I joined a Facebook group and I'll never forget it was a meme that they had uh, in the Facebook group. Well, the sheep farmers was like, sheep typically just pick a day. Hey, today I think is a good day for me to die. And I saw like the comments under it. People are laughing. People are like, yeah, man, you know, my sheep just died. And I'm trying to find the humor in it because it's like, hold on. I'm losing money. This isn't this isn't funny. Um, and so I, you know, I started to look into it and figure out like why, what, what's going on. You know, I had another one. I had another lamb, another you to lamb. Everything's going well. We celebrating. Okay, cool. We got one. It's going good. And then the mother dies, and then she leaves an orphan. So I'm like, all right. I mean, I was literally at my wits end about it. Like, you know what? We got to get rid of these things because we're gonna, we're gonna lose. We we're losing. Money. Um, and and then I thought about it. Um, I was like, let me go purchase a mail for these last six or seven that we have, um, to kind of just try to salvage our investment. So I went and bought a mail. Um, he wasn't fully grown, um, but he was, you know, about four or five months. He usually can start breeding at six. So I was like, hey six months so i'm gonna bring them in you know take care of them we're gonna raise them we still gonna salvage our investment obviously we're behind schedule but you know it's all good and you guessed it he got sick but unlike the other females he was sick he started moving slowly so i was like you know what? we got to get him to the vet right now so took him to the vet they were saying he had you know parasites and it was probably some of the worst you know, it, out of a out of ten, he was a nine when it came to being infected with different parasites. So, you know, I, we ended up trying to nurse him back to health. I was required to give him shots every day, you know, give him electrolytes, do all of these different things to try to save him. And the thing about sheep, and I, I, I said in one of our previous videos, they are not fighters at all. Like they are, if they can run, they're gonna run. If they can't, they'll just lay down and die. Well, this particular male, he fought, he fought, and then I just saw, like, he just laid down and died and gave up, right? And it was a very sad situation. Um, you know, we, we buried him, gave him his proper burial. But I did learn in that situation, like, learn how to care for a sick sheep, learn the things about parasites. And what I realized was, like, maybe this plot of land that I have them on is not the best piece of land. And so that was one of the things that the vet told us. So... I wrangle them up, put them all in a trailer, and I move them to where they are located now. Now, at this point, I've lost about six or seven, lost every lamb that was born, lost a male, and I'm like, okay, this business venture is about to be up. But I said, I'm gonna give it one more shot. And that's the one thing in business, people always tell you time and consistency. Time, consistency, time, and consistency. That's the thing they always preach to you. Obviously, in our head, we didn't think that the, the part about the time and consistency thing, we were looking at this business venture is going to work right now, today. And so for some of you that may be contemplating jumping into a business venture, uh, understand that time and consistency is a real thing. You, you're you going to take losses and you're going to take a lot of them. And that's just part of 
that whole world of being in business and doing things. So whether it's you, you know, starting a lawn care business or doing hair, whether you start a car detailing business, whatever it is, it's going to take time and consistency. There is no overnight riches when it comes to business at all. It just doesn't happen that way. But I said, this is the last straw. I'm going to buy one more mail to see if this works, right? I've moved them. Um, I've bought donkeys to protect them, right? I've done everything. This is my last straw. Went and bought a mail, investing yet more money into the into the business. Um, and bring this male into the fold. He's doing well. He starts breeding. And last December um, became our first day, first actual lambing season. So we're talking about being two years in the business, not making any money at all whatsoever. In fact, we're feeding animals that are dying. Don't know why they're dying. They have plenty of water. They have plenty of food. You know, we're, they're just here today, gone tomorrow. I had a couple of them lose. I did lose a couple of predators. So I bought, I spent more money on donkeys um, to protect them because that's what they do. And even to the point where I had to move them to another track of land. But last December was, we received our first, like, our first lambing season. It was a very successful lambing season. Um, we were able to raise all of those lambs up. They were able to sold, most of them sold. Um, we were able to process a couple for, you know, lamb tops and the reason why we actually got into the business. Um, but it was, it ended up being successful. Um, so now we're fast forward to a, a year from last year. We're entering into our second lambing season. And so far, so good. We have four lambs on the ground. It has been a total success. Um, and I want to say, like, I want you guys to know, like, I want you guys to follow me and follow this journey. But if you are out there and it comes to business or any of those things that you are, anything that you're trying to, to jump into, have faith in what you're doing. Stay down until you come up. That's a, that's a real thing. And believe in what you're doing. Um, I, I know for us, it is it has become a, a it's become a joy of mine. But I don't think that I would have enjoyed it um, without these shortcomings and these pitfalls that we've had to go through. Um, but now, you know, obviously, it's working for us, and you know, I I'm I'm glad that that I've gone through that. Um, so I want to invite you guys into it. If you're watching this video, please go back. Take a look at our previous videos, get to know our channel, get to know our animals, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all of those things because I really want you guys to be a part of our journey. If there is any questions that you have, agriculture, please just comment down below. Anything you want to know, sheep farming, you know, cattle farming, anything with poultry, comment down below. That's all that I have for today. Like I said, like, subscribe, comment. Follow us, turn those post notifications on. That's where that bell is. Click that bell. And until next time, I'll see you guys.